Are you sure you're gonna be okay, Drac? I'm, 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 I'm gonna be okay. You're not gonna start crying? No. Are you sure? No. Do you need tissues? <laughs> Just, no. Uh, I'm a, I'm a big brave boy. You're gonna go into that game and you are gonna... No, seriously, I am fine. Welcome back to King's Quest. So we're doing a little bit of a double header this time because last time you guys got to hear the epic conclusion to the life of King Graham of Davitry. And uh, we, we finished up the good night, but now it's time to take on an, a bonus epilogue chapter that they decided to do to start young Gwendolyn on her adventuring career. And I'm, you know, here's the thing. Episode 5 is kind of depressing when you think about it in the long run, what it means to the series. But I actually think that this is kind of worse because from what I understand, from what people have told me, this kind of starts maybe another series of King's Quest following Gwendolyn. And unfortunately, just shortly after this came out, the new Sierra under Activision folded. And so at that point, we this is pretty much the only adventures we are going to get with young Gwendolyn. So that's kind of sad in and of its own right. But we've stayed on this title screen of love. Let's start Gwendolyn on her adventuring career. It was my first solo trip away from home. I was well practiced within the safety of the castle walls. But today, my feather was going to get its first real notch. Every good adventure seeker knows to be prepared, and I most definitely am. Okay, so we, we've had a nice little uh, prologue to this, but basically what you want to do is you need to pick up all three of these items. Acorn's legendary adventuring rope. Check. Yeah, of course Acorn made that. Then I'm guessing this is this is a Chaka's bow. A Chaka's bow that Grandpa used on many a quest. Check. Who knows what danger lurks out here. And then finally we need to pick up this hatchet. So that unlike her father or her grandfather, she can use it everywhere. Trusty hatchet. Yay. Check. Oh, well, I guess that's it. Is it? All right, Yarble Snoofs. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I need that tracking badge. All right, so let's go ahead and go an adventure with young Gwendolyn. And like I said, the saddest part of this is that unfortunately, the new Sierra folded just before this. And what? Oh. A queen still needs to develop new and important skills. You can always be better. Good way to look at it. Yeah. Okay, that was pretty good. All right, so. All right, I believe we need to go left. Huh. What would Grandpa do? I don't know. What would Grandpa do? I felt as though I was at a loss for what to do. And then I remembered. I was a fourth-ranked Wetzel Wolf Scout. I needed to slow down and observe what was around me. Okay. So, here we go. Oh, you can already see, like, uh, one of those horses that they've been riding in this series. So, we come over here. Oh. And here, we find the snoot. The scout guide says he can leap nearly 30 feet in the air. They look like big giant dogs. They do, but they're called they're apparently called snoots. I never knew that. I know, but they just they, they look like okay. more big. So not sure we can do anything with the snoots just yet. Oh, actually we needed to do something else before. But like I said, one of the downsides here is that unfortunately Sierra folded at this point and wasn't really able to go uh, any further with this story, especially with the odd gentleman, they weren't. And that's just kind of sad. Like, I, I have a feeling that this was supposed to mark a whole new series in the games, in the series, in the, the franchise's history is what I'm basically trying to say. 
Okay, we're supposed to be finding a bush. Were mostly all the King's Quest games, um, you were with, uh, Graham all through most of the games? What was that? For all, like, any ki other King's Quest games, was it mostly Graham that you always followed You with? played as Graham for three of them. Uh, and so the first two you played as Graham. Sorry, I'm just making sure I know where to... where to go here. Um... There's supposed to be, like, a bush that we can use. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta look. Where was it? These prints are all over the castle stables. So, definitely snoot tracks. Yeah, we got that. Um, so, yeah, for the first two games, you played as Graham. And then the third, you actually played as Alexander, but you didn't know who Alexander was. He was the slave boy known as Gwydion. Yeah. In that these prints are all over the Yeah, castles. I got I, I got it, Gwendolyn. Don't worry about it. Okay, I don't know where this bush is, so I'm not necessarily going to worry about it. What is with the bush? Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's go right and see if maybe this gives us what we need. Because we need something to lure the snoots. That's the thing. Oh, here we go. So I guess now we go this way. No. Could this be the bush? These must be Yarble Snoof tracks. Going to the bush. Okay, so can we use the hatchet on it? Like I said, so uh, Graham was the first two. Alexander was the third. I think these will work. The fourth was uh, Rosella, and that's the one of two she got. Five was Graham again, six was Alexander, and seven was the only game you got to play as Valenice along with Rosella. Mm. So hopefully that answers your question. Oh um, yeah, because I wasn't sure how. And then eight, you, th there technically is an eighth one. We don't, we don't talk about it, Andrew. We don't, don't bring it up with a Sierra fan. Uh, but you don't play as any of them. Sugar shrooms. Oh, hi. That, that's a very creepy looking eye right there. Uh, you know, I'm not going to worry about that one. I need to find a way to get those sugar shrooms. Right now, I'm not worried about those. Uh, we're supposed to be finding some grapes. Yes, we do have a guide open, so don't, don't get mad at us. Never seen these tracks before. What else is out here? And it's just because we want to make sure that we get through this in... A timely manner. I know that a lot of the puzzles we've tried to figure out, but uh, this one we're, we're just going to kind of rush through. But yeah, sadly, this is going to be the only one where Gwendolyn is played as. And there's the Yarble Snoof. They're said to be quite elusive, but I'm guessing everyone found them annoying and chose not to bring them to town. That's what I thought. That big eye that we saw in the tree, I'm guessing it belongs to a Yarble Snoof. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, that would give me plenty nightmare fuel. Okay, so what's over here? Could this be where I need to go? Might as well just explore a little bit. We're supposed to get some grapes, I think, for the snoots. So I want to make sure that I get them. Let's see. So. Oh, okay. All right. M my bad. It's actually supposed to be where the snoots are. Where we can get some grapes. Because grapes are fun, right? They are, in fact, very fun. But I will admit, like, that this is still a very disappointing concept to me because I would love to have seen Sierra kind of reboot the King's Quest series with Gwendolyn as the main character. And the other piece of bad news that's since happened after this is that Telltale Games has folded. So unfortunately, like, I don't know where point, point and click adventures are going to be in the coming years, Andrea. I really just don't. Mm-hmm. That makes me kind of sad. 
there they are. There we go. Small food for a small animal. Okay, so now we have some grapes. All right. So I, I guess we don't give it to the snoots. Because we need to head back. And we need to find a tree stump. Actually, I'm wondering if that's... No. That is not what I thought it was. So we don't need to go back to where the supposed Yarble Snoof was in the tree. Okay, so we need to find a tree stump. Ah, and tree stump with a squirrel Sorry on it. About the trouble, little one. Okay. So here's what we need to do. We need to use the rope. I'm guessing we're going to catch a squirrel. This looks to have the perfect spring for my trap. That's a big net. Right there. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is use leaves. the leaves. To cover it up. That was not a good covering up job. That doesn't look like a great cover. No. That squirrel's going to see right through that. And now we wait and hide. And if the squirrel falls for it, it's the dumbest squirrel ever. Yep, dumbest squirrel ever. Let me cut you down. You better hope that this isn't Princess Madeline of Avalon's son or daughter. You're gonna be gotcha. in trouble after that. Now, just hop into my hood and we'll be on our way. Yeah. So instead of a cloak, she has her hood. <laughs> All right. And no, it wasn't actually a squirrel, it was a badger. So now that we've got a badger... Some kind of a badger. I don't know, the animal designs are kind of weird and off, but I like them from this game. So now we actually, I think with the badger, we have a solution for the snoots. Because now we can probably scare the crap out of them. Literally. Okay, oh. There we are. And then I do know that a few people have, are, are going to be asking the question, just because I asked it too, is what what about Gart? So Gart was, like, we found out in episode four that Gart was kind of groomed into the role of being king, and now he's just basically forsaken it as of episode five. He's like, I'm okay with you with you being queen, Gwendolyn. Uh, Gwendolyn, I'm going to go and do my own thing. I'm actually kind of happy that they, they gave him the option of, like, saying, no, it's okay. I don't want this. You can have it. Because oh, up yeah. until that point, I was going to say, well, episode five, they're they they're saying that Gart's been groomed for the role. You might as well just keep him in the role. Uh, so, Badger? <laughs> what was with the grin? Who knows? Jeez. Dude, everybody in the King's Quest universe hates badgers for some reason. Okay. So, oh, and look at that. We have some bananas. I just like this so much. It's all right, Gwendolyn. Nobody likes bananas. Uh, so, okay, we need to go to the right of the screen. Okay, so this puts us in the snoot area. And we need to find a hollow log. I'm, yeah, that's probably not a hollow one. I'm sure you'll recognize it. What about that one that had the eye? Oh, you know what? That might be it. With okay, so mushrooms. we need to go over. He no, do we need to go over here? Oh, is all of this connected? Is that why we saw the Yarble Snoof? Uh, no, that's not it. Which one was the one that had? Is that a rabbit? Oh, that's a rabbit. That's wave. a rabbit in the background, yeah. Uh, no. And then, yeah, so this was the unusual tracks. <coughs> Hi. Okay. Yeah, this was where the sugar I shrooms were. need to find were. a way to get those sugar shrooms. Oh, the poor little Yarble Snoof is, is trapped. 
Oh, no. Use the hatchet? Uh, no. Do we want to do that? We might actually, we might actually miss. We might cost ourselves some points. Bananas? Oh, uh, so we need to go to the right. Okay. Nope. We need to use the rope. There we go. Oh, I think I see what the, what they're going with this. I'm trying to rig it so that the Yarble Snoop can get out. Ow! Let's not hurt the little chill or the little creatures on the way, Gwendolyn. That's that's not very adventurely. Oh hi. Uh ow. And the Yarble Snoop is dead. No, no, it's just the crap is scared out of it. Well, thank you for eating the banana. Thank you for shattering the broken log and taking away our taking rope. away our adventuring rope. Okay, so let's go ahead and yes. grab the sugar shrooms. Sugar shrooms. All right. So now that we have that, let's head back over to the. Yarble snoofs. Okay. I'm guessing this will help them calm down. Because as we learned from Wenty, you can't ever turn down sugar shrooms. That is the weirdest way to walk ever. Oh, yes. Uh oh. I think I did something horrible. Dude, that is so weird. These okay. are nature's adventuring ropes. Yes. Geez, stop doing that. Yeah, especially These with those. Are nature's adventuring. Okay, I got it. So now that we have that, the hatchet to cut the. Oh yeah. Um, here's hoping that we don't scare the crap out of them. Let's. Oh, uh, who let's... cares? We can get rid of them. Okay. I have a feeling we need to feed little Yarble Snoof again. These are nature's adventure. Okay. I'm glad that they are because you're not. Dang it. Hmm. It's not working. Okay. Oh, okay. You know what? Th this was my bad. Uh, I, I should have thought this through. Okay, so put a sugar shroom down. And now he's going to do his little wonky walk over. And while he's doing that... Nope. Let's grab some more of nature's adventuring rope. Which looks like this a snake too. The link I need. What the heck does sugar shrooms do to these things? That Make freaks them, them the hell out. Make some hyper. I guess. They just make it sound like it's it's drugging them. Okay, I have a feeling we're gonna get yelled at because we accidentally drugged the Yarble Snoof population. Yeah, we already know about those tracks. Okay, so back to the area with the Yarble Snoofs, because I think I know where we need to use the vine. So for a first adventure, this is actually pretty simplistic. I, I'm not necessarily saying that's a bad thing. 
but it's definitely where this is Gwendolyn kind of giving herself an adventure. Uh, so let's use the vines. Okay, so now I guess we can create a whole new trap. And now we shall lure, I guess a Yarble Snoof is where and we're going. We'll and hide. I don't know why we're trying to catch a Yarble Snoof, but we aren't. Got you. Now, just hop into my hood and we'll be on our way. What? Uh-oh. What are you doing in there? I can help. You got yourself into this mess, not me. I was just catching Yarble Snoops. Is that Daddy, supposed to be like down, a Chaka's son? Instead of using my hatchet. Uh oh. Uh, I gotta do this fast. Almost. Almost. Ah! Oh no! Can you push her? Oh. Dragon. Chaka. You know a Chaka? A Chaka. Uh Yeah, it's a Chakas. He was a friend of the family. Shreki Morta Achaka. That's get Morta Shreki. Morta? Uh um I guess we'll just jump out of the way. Watch out! Because apparently he knows what he's doing. Okay, he doesn't know what he's doing. Wait, it's just a Shreki. Dragons are great. The heck? Oh, hi, Mr. Fancy Cakes. <laughs> it looks like, like slow motion. Yeah, I have no idea why they're doing that. Fancy Cakes. Okay, apparently he hates fancy cakes. Wait, fancy cakes is is Stalama. Okay, this is getting weirder and weirder by the second. It's like the next generation of the characters. So Mr. Fancy Cakes took over for the merchant and he is literally piloting the cart and subjugating his fellow minions? I, I don't get it. Oh, this is getting so weird. What? Oh, wait, what? I am Alexander Velides. You could seriously be helping me out right now, and you're not. What the heck, man? We just watched you guys. What's this? Uh, okay, so can't do anything with that right now. Something tells me we need the to sugar. use an item. What about uh? Oh, we could do that. Okay, let's let's use the sugar shrooms. Uh, you, you do. I the, the, don't think so. Where's that stump? Oh, banana. Nope. What that? But hey, <laughs> all you had to do was wait for it. Cause I don't think the hatchet would have done anything. It would have taken her forever to to hack that apart. But now the snoot can just and, and oh, take care of the log. Stem. Ah! Mm -hmm. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and get out of here? Yep, that's that's thirty feet. Gotta be. Okay, so now we can get out. I'm guessing. Get out of the way. Yay! So we, we figured this crap out, right? Now you could probably put a shroom in there. Probably. That Maybe that'll drive the... 
Ah, it's not letting me letting me interact with the stump. Oh, okay. I thought maybe. So I guess not. Um. Huh. Okay. Oh, you want to know what might work? Okay. She might not have a problem with the tree. So let's let's try that. Keep going. Keep going. Snap, snap, snap. Well, that did jack. Oh, well, okay, okay, never mind. It did plenty. I love it. One of its wheels is still a thing of bread. Hi, Achaka Jr. Oh, is he stuck? Uta? Okay. I can do this. I can do this. I can't do this. Oh, Salama! Uta! You got this. Come on. Okay, Afanata. let's do this. Afanata! Afanata! Ah! Ah! Going. Ah! Uta! Uta! Okay, and... That crap. Did not hit it. Did not hit it. Damn it. Aww. I failed. Uh-oh. Stalama, Stalama. <laughs> okay. All right. Let, let's see if we do this right now. Buta! Can I hit it this time? Yeah, baby. <sighs> what if this is the baby dragon from way back in episode two? No. That, I think that was supposed to be the actual dragon. This may be a new one. Ah, uh, the dragon was hungry. That was amazing. We just defeated a twirling, whirling, yaggle of Yarvel Snoos and the most menacing dragon I have ever seen. Well, it was the first dragon I've ever seen, but we did it. I can't believe I had to use a Chaka's bow. Are we the dueling archers now? I, I don't want to duel you. I just think you're much better than me, but we can be super friendly archers. Yep, the apple doesn't fall far. I've uh -huh. never been able to make the shot, but you believed, and then I did, and then you threw the rope, and then you did it. This is the best adventure ever, and I'm still gonna get my Wetzel Wolf Scout patch, and now I have a new best friend, and this is the best! Oh, um, sorry. I get a bit excited when it comes to adventure. Afanata. I'm Queen Gwendolyn, granddaughter of King Grim, the Compassionate. It's a girl! Taskia. Taskia. Achaka. Grand. Oh, a chuckle was your grandfather. Oh. Um. Well, my grandfather gave this to me, but without a chaka, I wouldn't be here. It belongs to you. Really? Hmm. Afanata. I hope we adventure again soon, Taskia. Maybe with less Shrekies. <gasps> Shrekie! No, it's fine. I don't think it meant to cause any harm. It's not even the same dragon. See? It's just hungry. Pet dragon. Now you just gotta learn to train it. And that's it. That's wow. That's the entire epilogue. So a first adventure well done for Gwendolyn. Wow. But sadly, like we said, this is the last one that Gwendolyn ever went on, at least that we'll ever know about. Uh, because Sierra soon folded and they didn't give the rights over to the odd gentleman. And the odd gentlemen are actually off doing comics now. Like they're they're working on a comic right now, so I don't know if we're ever gonna get this, but 
Final thoughts on King's Quest. Andrea, what is your take on, on all of it, roughly? Like, was this a fun little adventure to be able to go on for you? It'd be a fun one now to look back on some of the other ones that, you know, that came before this. We might we might need to do that. I need to find a way to be able to do them because they're really, really old. But it might be possible to be able to do that. And obviously, let us know in the comments if you would like us to go through the original King's Quest games. And if you know how to help us find... I, I, I think I know where to find a few of them, but the problem is, is like, we might actually have to go down the remake route. Some of the earlier games have been remade, and for good reason, because, like, the, the original games were made in, like, the 70s and 80s, so... Oh, well, yeah. yeah, you it's can't gonna do be a that. Uh, and and mo modern PCs just can't run them that well. But, yeah, we'll definitely have to, have to take this on, but, you know, this is bittersweet to me. Because I would have loved to have seen like a season two of, of King's Quest that followed Gwendolyn and her adventures and, and what she had to deal with. And unfortunately, we're not getting that. And like I said earlier, uh, Telltale just folded in. So I'm, I may actually be looking at another Dark Age for point and click adventures where nothing is really happening. And that's sad because I would love to have seen what could have been done by the odd gentleman with a Gwendolyn inspired adventure or another adventure game in general. So it's now the odd gentleman that have it? No, the odd gentleman were, were leased out the, the opportunity to do it from Sierra and Sierra has since folded. So th the rights went back to Activision and Activision isn't really interested in doing anything with it. So that's that's the sad reality here is that Activision is not going to do another King's Quest. Because Sierra was like their medium to be able to do that. But uh, in the meantime, thank you guys so much for joining us on this very long journey. We've had to do it in between Let's Plays, and I know that that's been frustrating for a few people. It's been kind of for me and, and a little bit for Andrea, too. Like, we, we had fun, and then we went off and did a long thing like Kingdom Hearts and had to get back into the swing of things. Uh, but that's going to go ahead and do it here. Now, we are going to be taking on more episodic games in the future, and we are happy to announce that the first one of that is going, or the next one for that is going to be Life is Strange. So you guys can look forward to that. I know that e our buddy Brinton especially is looking forward to us doing Life is Strange. And the next game that we're going to be taking on is by your demand, because we really wanted to do it, and we asked you guys, we have a couple of months before Kingdom Hearts 3 finally hits, and so we're happy to announce that the next game we're going to be playing is the next in the series, Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. And actually, this is going to be a unique one as Andrea is going to be taking the helm for that game. So, Andrea, you can't fail. Yes, you, I know. You, you have the internet watching you now. Well, I get the to pressure is on. I will do the Sora story. You will do the Riku portion of it. Yes, so, but but bottom line, you're going to be playing like 75% of the game. So, oh, yeah. Or, or more like 80% of the game. So you guys can look forward to seeing us for Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. But now we'll go ahead and let the credits kind of play us out. So for me and for Andrea, we'll see you next time.